Okay, so this is the inside of the case. It took off the front and back panels. I mean the side panels. And uh, we have that big 200 millimeter fan on the top and here on the front as well. These are tooless for hard disk drives. I have all the cables at the back for cable management. So these are tooless, big, spacious. I'm gonna mount the motherboard in here. Okay, here we have the motherboard, it's locked into the case. Yeah, more or less. Then now I'm going to put the CPU and uh, the PSU. Okay, there we have the PSU mounted, the motherboard and the CPU, the Core i7. Hmm. Okay, so we continue with the build. Okay, here we are, almost finished. Cable management is quite okay. 32 connector for the graphics card. I'll leave it there. Have to pin this up. And here at the back is the cable management. I hope it closes up. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now the RAMs are in place. And I covered the back, the side panel is closed. Now, to mount the CPU cooler. Okay guys, practically it's finished. I installed the CPU cooler. The RAMs the sound card as well I installed in the bottom of my 120 millimeter Antec blue LED fan has three speeds I've set up to medium the hard disk drives are installed as you can see I'm only missing the graphics card cable graphics card and uh, DVD writable I'll buy a Plexter SATA DVD recordable drive and that's it. Now I'll we'll try the test. I'll try the system on. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so it's finished. There are two fans at the top, 200 and 140, because I had to put the radiator for the CPU cooler here. I think I am just. I have to connect these two, two hard drives, and uh, as I said before, Plexter DVD recordable drive and the uh, graphics card will be here. And HD 7970. Tom, I there's the sticker Core i7 and G scale RAMs on the bottom. I'm missing the sticker for MSI. I don't know, but they never came with the motherboard box. Maybe you have to buy it. But uh, anyway, now I'm gonna close the case. I'm gonna try it. 